Welcome to Ask the Pro. I'm your host and your coach, Chris Touffet, and this is where I'm going to be giving you what's needed to create the online business, the money, the freedom, and the life that you want. This episode is about you taking it to the next level, the secret sauce from you to go from under six figures a year to over six figures, to multiple six figures, to seven figures a year, and even to multiple seven figures a year. I'm bringing on a good friend and highly qualified coach that you will find out very soon why Kat Laterzo, which we are going to delve into the much needed factors, such as why permission is one of the first steps you need to hurdle for your business to succeed, why it's about the why and the daily actions rather than the strategic how that so many get caught up in, what really doing the work means and how you can action this and how the daily process and systems are the major foundations to growing your big, secure, long-term online business success. We really delve into the main factors that you need to take on board to really create the big factors of success that you are looking for in all areas of life. As you will find out that when we recorded this episode, she had just gotten her two kids to bed. I literally had to wrap up and get my two girls to bed as well. This is about living a real life, but also creating the business success at the same time. Now, this episode is brought to you by My Body Blends and my favorite, the Superfood Elixir. So if you want the fuss-free and proven programs, the guides and the products to transform your body and health, be sure to head on over to mybodyblends.com and tune into the My Body Blends podcast. That is coming to you every single Monday. So make sure you don't miss out on those episodes and everything waiting for you on mybodyblends.com. Also, make sure if you haven't yet to subscribe so you never miss an Ask the Pro episode. There is an epic amount of awesomeness coming up in the library to come with the episodes. Plus, us to make sure you really get the most out of you being here with me right now, you need to click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chris, D-U-F-E-Y.com right now. It's waiting for you with your name on it. It's not, it doesn't have your name on it, but you're really waiting for you right now and just uploaded the new versions of the free guides and the trainings that are straight out of the pro circle. So whether you wanna learn to grow your following, how you turn them into your clients, or if you want to be able to double to triple your clients, or even if you wanna start and grow your online business, the actual coaching steps and trainings that are really gonna take you step-by-step to how to actually make it happen. So get on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. That's where you can find out how to get on board the right coaching, whether you wanna be able to grow the online business, the face-to-face, or depending on rather the experience level you're at and where you wanna take it. Obviously, there's so much free information out there, but really what you need is the information that's tailor-made for where you're at and to where you wanna go. And that's exactly why I made chrisdufay.com forward slash start here to make sure you get on over. So don't be a peanut and miss out. Now, it's really time to bring on Kat because this is an outstanding episode that I know is going to make you pulling the trigger and taking the right actions. And also, I want to hear from you after this episode with what you're going to take action with from what you learn from it and also what you want to know with the next episode that we do because we certainly are going to bring Kat back on because there is a lot to cover. Here we go. Kat, you wonderful wizard, thank you so much for coming on to our Ask the Pro podcast. I'm pumped to have you here. I've been so fortunate for knowing you for such a long time now, and you are just absolutely, to use a word that is just being overused, but you really are, you are crushing it, and I'm so thankful to get you on right now because I, the listener is about to get a firm slap to the face that is needed right now, and we're about to really kick him up the backside. But before we get into that, I just really want to say thank you so much, Kat, for taking the time for myself and the listeners. It is so awesome to be here, Chris. I'm pumped to do it, and um, there's going to be slaps in the face and kicks up the ass and probably a bucket of cold water on the head as well, so (laughs) looking forward to jumping in. I need that because it's really hot here at the moment and some cold water would go right. Okay, beautiful. There you go. It's just the the nice thing to do. So, Kat, 
I really wanted to delve this episode into making sure that we go high level. We go, we push the listener right now. We push all of us to go to the next level. I find too many people are usually standing in the way or they're umming and ahhing. There's a bit too much confusion and there's a lot of, there's a lot of SHIT out there in the world of how to grow a business and especially in the realm of the business that we're talking about as well. And you are just a brilliant person to be talking about this because I think it's just upfront. It's, it's realistic as well. Like we're both off air, we're just laughing about how you literally just got your kids to bed and now we're talking and I'm literally going to be doing the exact same thing after this. Like we're living a real life. Like we don't have time to mess around with. So things have to be efficient and effective. But before we dive into that, Kat, I really want you in a nutshell, who is Kat and why are you so phenomenal? Okay, well, I am a success coach, author, speaker, and kick up the butt slash person to largely women entrepreneurs, but all, all entrepreneurs, leaders, artists, creatives, essentially what I term the 1%. So those people who are in business or in the business of branding themselves and see themselves as winners and are, and are already successful, totally doing what it takes to create their dreams in business and life, but yet they have a lot more to give and they feel essentially that they're not going all in. They are on their way, but they want to up-level fast. And so what I do is I, I really work with these people to get them into a high level of alignment around what their business and life dreams are. And then Basically, what I do is kick their ass around the productivity side of it, but also around the mindset side of it and permission and ownership. And I mean, that, that's like a little description of what I do in my business. But the thing is that that is all a reflection or extension of the fact that I had to go through that process myself in my own business. And I've been in business in some form for 16 years. Um, I've been in the online business for eight to nine years, nearly nine years. And it's exactly the process I've gone through. I've, I've always sort of seen myself as having these big dreams and goals and kind of wanting it all and definitely being successful in everything that I've done over the years, but for a long time struggling to kind of find my true path and to find a way to make money doing what I love. And, you know, it, eventually I got to a point where I just felt like, well, this is it. It's time to go all in now and time to just fully commit to doing what I want to do and making it work. And that was, I mean, that was quite an up and down process. It was quite a, a painful process in terms of having to go from making a lot of money, but doing it in a way that it wasn't really my true passion to then kind of going into massive debt and almost going bankrupt while I sort of fought to understand how to monetize my passion and eventually getting to a point where I could do that and where I really could say, wow, like I'm waking up every day and doing exactly what I want to do in my business and in my life and, and living my calling. And now I'm just absolutely committed to empowering others to do the same. I absolutely love that. And obviously you've gone through the highs, the lows, the trials, the tribulations, the elations, like absolutely everything to now being able in the point to easily guide people for them to be able to do it for themselves. And you touched on so many really good points. And one of them that I think you just, you just glanced over so easily, but I think so important is the obviously the permissions part. Like you got to a point where it was like, screw it. It's all in right now. Like I can't kind of dip my toe anymore. And you obviously knew you wanted more. And therefore you started to act on that with people. Now the permission in getting to that point is a struggle. How do you help people break through that? Yeah, it's honestly just a matter of kind of getting inside of, uh, like, firstly, it's getting into that conversation around, let's just be fucking honest here, what is it that you really want? Um, what is it that you actually want to create in your business and in your life? And admit it, right? Because what I find is a lot of the time that people are essentially just not, I mean, they'll come to me and they'll say, this is what I'm doing, this is what I want to do. And they kind of give me the half story or, or you know, the, the like what they see in their mind's eye as being the initial steps that, okay, I have to focus on this first. Like somebody might have a goal where deep down they actually want to build a $100 million empire. Like these are the kind of clients I work with, right? But then they'll say, oh, I want to go to a million dollars this year. It's like, okay, that's obviously a cool goal. That's a, you know, that's a, that's a significant goal. But if your real goal is $100 million empire and speaking on stages in front of just thousands of people and being a New York Times bestselling author and being essentially known all around the world, then why don't you just admit that from the start and let's focus on that? So that's kind of the first step. It's really just getting people to admit what it is they want, what the true vision is, and then just accepting 
that that's what they want and that they're going to focus on making it happen. And I think the big thing around permission is stop worrying about how, because obviously if you sit there and you say, how am I going to make $10 million or a million dollars even, or like, I mean, even if somebody's like, like, let's say they're just starting out in business, which is not so much who my clients are, but sometimes, right. And they want to get to that initial six figure goal. Same thing, right. It's really overwhelming and people feel unsure about it and they get really wrapped up in, well, I don't know how to do that. And so therefore I'm going to focus on something that feels more within reach. And one of the big things that I teach and work on with my clients is don't worry about how, let's just focus on the vision and focus on the goal and then just focus on taking the next step that's in front of you. And it's kind of funny because it's, it's one of those things where once you have this conversation with somebody, they really feel that that's true and they're able to just kind of get out of their own way and, and literally stop worrying about how go, oh my God, that is, that's what I want. You, you know, like I'm just going to admit it. And I'm going to accept it and I'm going to finally for the first time commit to it and then step forward to make that happen. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back in a split with so much more for you. Now, I know you're listening and tuning in because you know how important your health is and how this can also catapult your business. This is why I'm very happy to say that this podcast is sponsored by My Body Blends and my favorite, the Superfood Elixir, the powerful greens drink. Now, this is designed specially to boost energy, aids detoxification, enhances the ability to burn fat, supports healthy carbohydrate metabolism, and best of all, is voted best tasting greens drink. Now, myself and the My Body Blends team are looking for ambassadors to join. So you and your clients get the health benefits plus adding in a strong income stream for you and your business. The ambassador program, which is by application only, means you get exclusive access to sell my body blends products like Superfood Elixir to your clients, plus giving you the special ambassador pricing and bonuses. So once you become an ambassador, you can join the other top health and fitness players that are adding thousands to their week's income. Now, there is only a limited number of ambassadors we are taking on board as this is a tribe leading the way together. So to apply and to join, go to mybodyblend.com forward slash ambassador or add the checkout code that is turning pro or one word when you're going to get your own superfood elixir to order plus you're going to get free shipping and a bonus to save yourself over 250 dollars instantly so just use that coupon code turning pro in the checkout and you can save over 250 right now all on mybodyblends.com yeah, I, I okay, one hundred percent on board, and uh, I think it was like I've got two hands right now up because of a direct reflection of what you said. Because I got to a point where I started the nutrition company, and I was like, I was kind of like, I'll, I'll be honest, I was fighting around to start off with it, and I got it moving at the start so easily with such little effort, and I was like, oh, this is really good. But I knew when I first started this, I was like. I want to sell this for a nine figure business. Like I want that hundred million dollar business to build. And I was fighting around and one day I was just like, what am I doing? Like I am completely not treating this with the respect that it deserves. And I disbanded to other businesses that day. I was like, right, I'm just folding them. Like as that's taking effort away of what I really want to be able to do. And like, look, I was like, I, I pissed away time because I was not ready to kind of so give myself that permission to go forward with that. So I completely, 100%, I think the other thing is so golden you touched on was it's kind of like getting that why before the how. And then really, once you know the why, just take that step like one day at a time. And it's something I want to bring up um, later with you as well is because you are brilliant at this, is just being able to day to day, just chunk it out. And I think that's exactly what people need to be doing because they're procrastinating. They're just, they're mentally mad masturbating on the things that don't count and it's just wasting their time. Totally. And, and it's partly just not, not having the discipline and the habits. Um, and that's a huge, you know, it's a huge aspect of what I work on. Like, I mean, I just spent a VIP today with some high level clients who, 
traveled from far and invested a significant amount of money to spend the day with me. And then at the end, we were sort of having, having some wine and kind of laughing about the fact that everything that I'm really teaching them is so freaking simple, right? Like there's no rocket science here. It's totally just me going, well, do the fucking work, right? Like, like admit, admit what you want and do the work. I mean, obviously we talk about, it's not like literally all we talked about all day, but it's, <laughs> and the wine. But it, I mean, it's it's actually like, that's what it comes down to in the end. And, and even my highest level clients kind of get to a point where they're like, oh my God, like it really just is that I've got to do the work. But like you said, like the why is part of it and just getting out of your own way and, and stop being distracted by bright, shiny objects or wondering about, you know, should I try this? Should I do this? Oh, this person's doing better videos than me. Maybe I'm going to worry about that. And, um, you know, I think the other part of it is that I, that I realized that I wanted to add on and mention here is just recognizing that any dream is possible. Like even if it's a hundred million dollars, okay, it's massive, but obviously there's people out there who are achieving that stuff. So it is possible if, you know, you know, why not you, right? Why, why not whoever actually focuses on it and decides in their mind that it's going to happen, that it's going to be the person who does it. And so then from that moment forward, that every action that you make or every choice that you, you know, every action you take or every choice that you make is moving you closer to that, not further away, because there really is no in between. It's either moving you closer or it's moving you further away. Now, obviously, like with the part of doing the work, how do you help people realize like them being able to be like, yes, I actually did do the work today rather than really kind of like justifying things and kind of lying to themselves and really kind of like trying to whirl around what the actual truth is that they really didn't get down to it and go all in that day. Yeah, I, that's a great question. And I actually have essentially like a, a daily success routine for myself that I've honed over the years. Um, I, I mean, for, for me, it's all about building a massive empire around a personal brand and that's exactly true for all my clients so whether they're and that's why I mentioned before like some entrepreneurs mainly but also leaders artists uh, celebrities even I talk to from time to time um athletes on occasion like anybody who's at the top of their game basically so those people are always in some way looking to brand themselves and become known for who they are or what they do and therefore the success routine that I have really crosses over to my clients but obviously we'll tailor it and individualize it but what it means is that there's essentially like eight to 10 items that I have on that list. And obviously the way that those are rolled out are different for each person, but it really does mean, okay, these are our foundation items. Every day you need to do this, 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 and this in some way, shape or form. And so that way when people are freaking out or they're getting distracted or they're being essentially, you know, all over the place, overwhelmed or whatever, we're really literally able to sit down and go, okay, but did you do this? And have you been doing this consistently? And so when I talk to clients, they'll often start off telling me how they've been going all in and taking action and getting so much shit done. And they'll send me messages like, I've done this, this, and this. And it's like, cool, cool, cool. Okay, have you been doing this every day? And I'll, and I'll come down to the daily success items that build a personal brand. And a lot of the time, obviously, particularly to start working with somebody, it's like, um, no. I haven't, right? Like they, I mean, they, they're usually trying to evade that answer like a child for a while, <laughs> right? Oh, but this happened and then, and then I wasn't sure what to say and then the blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you know what? You either did it or you didn't do it, right? So it's, it's just like a simple discipline. I mean, I guess like, I like to use fitness analogies, obviously I'm into fitness and it's kind of like, all right, either you moved your body in some way, shape or form today or you didn't, right? Like we can talk about the best way to move your body, but let's just start simple. Did you move your body? Yes or no? It's a yes or no question, right? And it's really very much the same in business, I find. I absolutely love that. And it's totally about, you've just got to take responsibility for yourself. Like you can either have like yourself, myself, anyone else kind of cracking that whip at the end of the day, there's got to be some responsibility taken. And I love what you're talking about. It's kind of those success is like, you're, you have those non-negotiables, like those things are on your daily success. They're your non-negotiables. Like you are doing them no matter what, because you know, that's what's going to take you to where you want to go. I tell you what, what would be like, one of the simplest ones that you find can be some, the most powerful on that list for you? As far as the daily routine, do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for, for personal branding, messaging, that is the number one highest priority as far as practical, a practical action. And what I mean by that is essentially some form of communication with your audience. So for me, I do daily messaging through, I have a daily blog 
I have a daily YouTube show, daily podcast. I try and live stream each day. That's not completely daily, but definitely every day in some way, shape or form, I'm communicating with my audience via means of sharing my message. So that's what I mean by messaging. It's just sharing my message that I feel people need to hear that day. And for anybody who wants to essentially, quote unquote, celebritize themselves, right? Like build a brand based around who they are, where people are therefore purchasing from you or wanting to follow you, not just because of what you teach, but also because of who you are. You need to be messaging every single day in some way, shape or form. It is the number one non-negotiable item. And I feel like that, I mean, that is really what has built my business as far as, you know, like people ask me, what's your marketing process or your sales process? And obviously there's stuff that I do in those areas, but the number one marketing and sales process that I have is that I pump out an incredible amount of content. And I mean, it is a lot, like I, I do produce a lot of content, but it's also just the consistency of it, right? Every day I'm writing my blog, every day I'm doing my YouTube show, every day I'm doing my podcast. And those things don't actually take a lot of time. It's just that I'm doing them consistently. For clients who are just starting out and feel like sometimes feel like they don't have something to say or they have a lot of other stuff going on and they don't have time or they feel that they don't have time, I'm I'm sort of pointing out to them, well, it's not that you have to write a 2,000-word blog post like I do or you don't have to do like a one-hour live stream like I did last night, but it could even be a high-value Facebook post, right? That's still a form of messaging. It's just showing up and being visible and the beautiful thing with messaging is if you're doing that consistently each day and you're essentially providing free value to people you're very easily able to just add some kind of simple call to action at the end like I'll have like literally a PS or a one or two sentence thing that I'll say at the end where I'm inviting people to take an action which is usually around either joining my community or purchasing something And those are, you know, that's where the the sales side of it comes in. So it actually links really easily into daily sales activity, which is my second non-negotiable. I love that because obviously the two are tied together and there's there's no need. Like when you obviously get asked all the time, like, what's your marketing strategy? What's your sales strategy? And you come back with an answer like that, like just kind of like what you said before. It's like, it's not rocket surgery. Like, it's just that I'm doing it every single day. And at the end of the day, that's what you need to be doing. And I, I, I just think this is exactly what the listener, I think this is exactly what we all need to hear because this is something that everyone can do right of today. Like this is what you need to be able to pick up. And something that I think maybe we can even delve into now is how can someone help create that habit? Like what do you think is some of the secret source of being like, someone's right now going, okay, I'm gonna shoot one video a day. How do I ingrain this into my cells to make sure this happens? Yeah, I mean, the first thing is making the commitment to it and not just going, oh, that sounds like a cool idea or a nice idea, but then you're clearly not actually committed to it, right? So it's that's just an internal commitment where it's like, right, I'm actually going to do this. The next thing is, in a practical sense, put it in your freaking diary, set a reminder, stick a post-it on your head, like do whatever you need to do to make sure you don't forget. Because I know for me, I'll, I'll like sometimes decide, oh my God, I'm going to implement this new success habit. Or even like... For example, I was traveling for a long time and I stopped taking all of my supplements that I like to take. And then when I got back and settled and I started to take supplements again, I would literally just keep forgetting. I would totally just forget, right? And I had the best of intentions, but I I would just like wake up the next day and be like, oh my God, I, I took no supplements the day before, even though they're sitting right there on the bench. So then it was about, okay, for me, what works is I put reminders for new habits in my Google calendar and it actually sends me an email notification. So this is just being like really non non magical about it, right? Like literally acknowledging the fact that everybody's busy, you're going to forget if it's a new habit. So have something in place. I also will get even one of my assistants to email me. Like I actually just saw an email come through from one of my assistants before I jumped on the call with you. And she's literally like managing me like she's my mom and going, hey, don't forget to Snapchat today. Don't forget to do Anchor. And she'll send me like a daily reminder that I've set up for her to do of some of my new habits. So I think part of it's about admitting that you're not like, you know, like you can be a kick-ass superhuman type successful entrepreneur, but you're not actually like superhuman in the sense of just remembering everything all the time, do what you need to do to support yourself practically. And then the other element of it is really, really around recognizing that you don't have to be perfect because a lot of the time when people don't follow through and do these sort of things, it's because they start to do it or they go to do it or they get ready to do it. And then they're like, oh, it's like, it's not that good. 
or it's shit or I don't feel like I've got anything to say or, oh, my God, it's repetitious. I already said that the other day. And so that has to do with self-worth and self-belief and just acknowledging that you always have something of value to share in your business. It's not about second-guessing yourself or, you know, like if I sat there every day and worried about is my content good enough to put out there, I just wouldn't even publish 90% of what I put out there. So I really don't I don't give myself that luxury, right? Like I don't, I don't indulge myself in questioning whether or not my content is any good. I'm committed to the production. And so I put it out there, even though some days, I, I mean, some days I might feel like, wow, that I really feel good, feel good about that piece. I feel like I nailed it. But other times I honestly feel like, oh, that's kind of like boring or it was repetitious or I really wasn't that into that piece of writing today. But yet I followed through anyway because I have that discipline and that commitment to myself. I think it's so true, especially you say like with shooting video, for instance, I always say to people when they're kind of hesitating, oh, I'm not too sure about shooting video. I was like, guess what? If you don't like the video that you just like shot, don't publish it. Or what I always say is just publish it anyway. And if you actually don't like or you get some backlash, just delete it off. Like it's perfectly fine. Especially when people are starting off. Like it's, let's be really honest, a lot of people right now, if they publish a video straight up, it's not going to hit the hundreds of thousands of views within a couple of minutes, which is perfectly fine. And it's obviously a process as well. Like I remember I, I like looked at some old YouTube videos and I was like, Jesus, did I really do that? Like that is horrible. But obviously it's a process to be able to get better. And it's just, I love where you just say, uh, it's just the being able to have that process of constantly producing. And I think having that shift of people are just consumers, like they go on a Facebook, they're consuming, they go onto a website, they're just consuming information. And if you flip that around and be stopping the consumer, be the producer, then suddenly your business is able to flourish. Uh -huh. Now, something we'll talk yeah, about. That, that's a great way to look at it. Now, something we were talking about off air, Kat, that I think is just really needed, especially for when people want to take it to the next level, say from, we're not talking about people just starting off, but say someone's at, say, just before the six figures and they want to clear the six to multiple six or then go to the seven or to the multiple seven and go onwards and upwards. Mindset can be such a massive thing to being able to let that happen because that's obviously mindset's going to determine the actions we take and therefore the actions determine the results that we get. Where do you help someone on being able to open up and grow that mindset? Yeah, it's it's partly the commitment stuff. I know I kind of keep coming back to this, like commission and commitment, but that is really a big part of it, just admitting that you want that and then deciding, okay, I'm actually committed to it, not just like, oh, I hope that one day I can somehow magically instantly go to that place, but instead you're going, no, I'm locking it in. It's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. So that's a big part of it. And then I would say, you know, if, if somebody's self-aware enough to understand that the, the leap from like six figures to seven figures is going to be about mindset, look for how you can elevate your mindset and essentially elevate your sense of normal. And one of the fastest ways to do that is going to be to immerse yourself into an environment where creating, where making seven figures is normal. And so that might be partly like, okay, get a mentor join a mastermind, hang around the right people. That's a huge part of it for sure. But it's even stuff like actively tuning in and, re you know, reading the right books, absorbing the right content, and also kind of deliberately filtering out the stuff that would detract from that mindset. So it's really, you know, what you feed your mind with is what will come out. And a big tool that I like to use for myself and recommend with my clients to elevate mindset and to essentially create a new level of normal is journaling. And so before you jump into a busy, busy day, taking 10 minutes, 20 minutes to essentially work your thoughts out in a journal through a process of really just emotional and mental decluttering and kind of like, I call it writing your reality into an existence. So before you worry about the hustle and doing the work all day every day, that you actually sit there and you're just writing out and essentially restating your goals, restating your intentions, intentions sorry, and claiming ownership over them and saying, this is what I'm committed to, this is what, I, what I'm going to make happen. So kind of the same thing over and over again each day repetitiously. Okay, that was just pure gold. So the listener right now, rewind and listen to that again because I think there's just... Just, that's just, that's profit right there, what you just said. And I think that's really what we need to be able to soak in. Now, I tell you what, Kat, before we wrap this up, I'd really love to know 
from everything that you've learned so far, if you had to start again, what would be something you just wish you knew from when you first began to be able to really sink your teeth straight into? Yeah, that's, that is an awesome question. I was actually talking about this today with my clients who came to see me and spend the VIP day with me. And I was saying that I wish I had have followed through earlier more consistently on setting up recurring income. So essentially systems around recurring income because I actually started my first membership program online back in 2010 and then, and it was going really well. And then I just suddenly decided, oh, I don't know if this is like really the thing I want to sell. And I kind of kept reinventing the wheel. And I did that for years. I was always tearing stuff down in my business and creating new stuff. And I think that there's nothing wrong with that. But I do wish that I had have just followed through on, you know, like having an income stream in place that I could be build and grow and have that as kind of my baseline for cash flow purposes as an entrepreneur and then explored creatively outside of that in and around that because it would have saved me would have saved me a lot of grief with you know debt and and the ups and downs that I got into over the years with my business but also you know if you look at the people who are seriously bringing in big money they have stayed the course right like they've followed through and it definitely doesn't mean stay the course with something that's not in alignment or you really don't love it or it's just not right for you but I think that oftentimes we talk ourselves out of stuff and we kind of, you know, we're, we're going okay with something and then all of a sudden we go, oh, I don't think this is what's going to work. I, after all, I'm, I'm going to change it. And it would be like like with training, right, if you were just like completely changing your approach every few weeks, it, it's just like you're not going to get the same result as if you stick with something. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's so true. Like it is, okay, two things is the first one, if it's like if you're heading west and you're looking for a sunrise, you're just never going to get there. Like you're just doing the wrong thing. And I think that's why obviously surrounding yourself by the right people, obviously getting a mentor, a coach, being able to consume the right information, like that's what's going to put you on the right course. But at the end of the day, you just got to keep doing it. Like you just got to get there. And I think too many people are looking for the really quick results and that's probably what's hampering and they're trying, they're like jumping from boat to boat the whole time. And they're obviously never seeing any results because of that problem. Yeah, totally. And look, a lot of it comes down to self doubt and self belief issues and, you know, feelings of worthiness and, and, and essentially second guessing yourself and worrying whether you're making the right decision. But that, that's something that you, people have got to understand as well is that being a successful entrepreneur, it doesn't mean that you somehow evolve to a place where you have no self doubt and you have no uncertainty. It just means that you were, you made a decision to put that stuff aside and to do the work every day, regardless of the fact that you're still going to doubt and question yourself. And I think that a lot of people earlier on in their business assume that people who are making seven figures, multiple seven figures and beyond, that they've kind of got all their shit together and they know exactly what they're doing. And the truth is they don't. They're just doing the work anyway, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's so good. All right. For the listener right now, I want to hear from you. I want to know what you've been able to take away from the cat's brilliance that she's been dropping this whole time. But also I want to know like, what are you going to be able to do from here? So what is the actual daily ritual that you're going to put in? So I think this is one of the most important takeaways that you can do. And then I'm going to beg and plead to get cat back on later because I, we barely scratched the surface on everything. I bloody wrote down or wanted to cover. There was just too much good stuff. But Kat, before I let you go, where can everyone learn more about you and what you're doing right now? Yeah, the best place is certainly through my website, which is just under my name. So it's catlaterzo.com. Um, and I'm on all the, you know, all the usual social media platforms and there's nobody else in the world with my name. So I'm very easy to find. I'm just under Kat Letozo everywhere. I'm everywhere and I am kind of everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, just because you said that, sorry, I just brought up something. I just had a coaching call, uh, someone that wanted to come on the coaching actually. And I put their name into Skype to add them because they didn't give me their Skype address. And there was about 1400 of their names that came up. I was like, oh, this is not going to work. Anyway. So oh my God. That is, so no, there are no other Kat Letozo those the one and only that's supreme i absolutely love that also i'll put the links in the show notes so you can click straight over to kat's website and get onto her social media platforms as well kat it's always fantastic talking to you i'm looking forward to more and i really wish you the absolute best especially because i know you're going to be a busy bee also to your gorgeous family hopefully see you guys very soon as well i think we're going to be coming to the gold coast actually pretty soon but we'll sort something out awesome it's been fantastic to talk to you and, and yeah we we kind of had a lot of other stuff that we we're going to talk about but i think we got deep into some good stuff so th thank you for the awesome questions because you made it easy and it was it was great to be on the show i appreciate it look forward to sharing it with my audience 
So now it's time for you to click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chrisdufay.com to get all the guides and show notes. And if you are wanting the workshops where I walk you through how to build your online business, click on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. This is where I can give you the exact training guides and the workshops for exactly where you're at and the answers that you need. Now, every Friday I'm coming back to you with a new episode. So be sure to subscribe and if you haven't already you're going to be getting the world's best insights the advice and the answers to give you the business the money the freedom and the success and happiness that you want and i want to give you a huge muchas gracias for being here with me and as always get in touch with me via the site or via social as ask the pro is about me giving you the answers that you need so ask away 